Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is Madeline. I am so happy that you're here today and that you have clicked on this video because I am coming with must-haves for your 2024 beauty list. So these are going to be the beauty must-haves. Now last year I posted a video towards the end of the year of my high-end makeup. This time I'm going to be showing you guys my must-have for this 2024. We are so close to 500 subscribers. Can I just say thank you all so much for your, all of your love and support throughout this year. I see the same people commenting and don't think that I don't notice you because I do. So thank you love you guys let's go ahead and hop into this video first things first let me start off by saying that some of the products that i have with me here today were influenced by social media i feel like it's really easy to get caught up with just instagram and tiktok youtube right pinterest a lot of trending platforms to just copy what other people might have i know alex earl was wearing this there was this cream bronzer trending at one point and i tried to get my hands on it and i just couldn't last year one size had the cheek clapper blush trio palette i remember that was trending the attention seeker and it was out of stock every other week at every other sephora I also hope that these are affordable because I did try to find alternatives for most of the products that I'm bringing you here today, but they're also items that you might not even realize that you could possibly need. These are tiny things that I think make the biggest difference. First things first, hair. So when it comes to hair, I have recently tried to get more into my hair care, especially since I'm trying to grow up my natural hair. As you can see, the majority of the color that I have on my hair is not dyed. This is my natural hair. As I mentioned in the past, I don't like my natural hair color. However, at this point in my life specifically, I have been loving it. I think that the dark hair just goes beautifully with me and it just compliments my face. So I'm super excited about that. Um, I know for myself specifically speaking, I have always bleached my hair. I've been bleaching my hair since I was 15, okay? <laughs> Not my uh, best call, but I have been bleaching my hair since I was 15. I will be 23 at the end of this month. Yeah, my birthday's on the 29th. Shout out to my Aquarius. Going into this year, I really wanted to focus on my health, as I've mentioned on my podcast and a lot of my other platforms. So this is all part of it. I'm trying to grow into my insecurities. And it's not a bad color. It really isn't. I think a lot of the times when I was just growing up, I just wanted to have the balayage, the ombre, you know, that bleach hair color. But anyway, moving on. Back to what I was saying. Hair care. On that topic. Now, this was trendy. I will not say that it wasn't. This is the Giso Honey Infused Hair Oil. So I'm sure you guys remember this was really trending back in like 2021. Everybody was getting the hair oil and then they came out with like a lip oil and they have a hair perfume as well, which I actually have. I actually got this as a gift from Andy's mom. She bought it for me, I believe, for my 20th birthday. With hair oils, I will say I'm particular, I'm particular, pick, bleh, bleh, bleh. Not particularly picky. There we go. I haven't been able to talk lately. I don't know what it is. I'm pretty picky with my hair oils only because I used to use the argan oil for a little bit and then people were saying that it was bad when they started like stripping their hair. But honestly, I don't really know too much about the hair care. So I'm trying to learn. That's like my goal this year. But from what I have been told, my friends that are in cosmetology, actually the girl that cuts my hair, Ashley, if you're seeing this, love you, Ash. She did not tell me to use this, but I preferably really like it. I think for myself, it's just nice to add it to the ends. Like I said, I blow dried my hair and I still have have some leftover like bleach color in my ends that are a little bit lighter so those are a lot drier so again that is the Giso hair oil hands down I mean affordable I would say it's fair for most hair oils when I go now it's around like maybe the range of like 18 to 25 um depending on the brand of course and where you're buying it and the size this is going to be a product that I'm sure many of you are familiar with and I actually just got a big size of it so yeah so now I actually have a bigger size of it which is really awesome because I am obsessed with this actually Julia was actually the original person that had told me about this put me on and then I started trying it now fun fact I actually and I know this sounds so horrible I never used heat protectant never used hair oil I used the hell out of hairspray true story I would pretty much just go in with a hair straightener curler blow dry whatever it was it had heat and it was going to do something magnificent to my hair best believe I was going to do it without any heat protection hence why my hair was so damaged for so many years this is like the first time it's actually going to be healthy it's on the road to recovery this is the it's a 10 miracle leave in conditioner as you can see she's seen better days this is actually the small size that I had but this is just like a travel size I'm presuming and so I've been using that before and after I get out of the shower I noticed biggest difference in just my hair overall because I think a lot of the times even the smallest amount of hair care makes the biggest difference now I will say pricing it's it's a little up there um, I will say quality over quantity when it comes to your hair and face and you're investing in yourself invest in your hair don't do what I did I know for myself speaking I've seen videos of people doing like the 
test strand where they spray it on a piece of paper and then they apply heat with a straightener. I realized seeing that demonstration visually, I was like, no, I'm no longer going to do that to my hair. I want to take care of myself. And that's what I've been doing. I mean, you have to have this. And if not this brand, maybe it's out of your budget, finding an alternative. So if somebody else has a recommendation or a dupe for this, that would be awesome. I find dupes, but sometimes I feel like they don't really work. So then I don't want to recommend it. I will never recommend a product that will not work for me, for you. I mean, in some cases, some products and some things work for others versus when they don't. You get what I'm trying to say. Maybe some of you guys already have this, but when I started doing makeup again and I was doing my videos, I realized that I was always using a headband, just like the little bands with the little bows. I used to use these little headbands and you know, they're super cute. They pull your hair back and they do a really great job. They do a really great job. Here's the thing. I would always get this fuzziness from my baby hair when I would pull it off. So let's say I curled my hair or my hair was wet. I would get this dent in my hair. So initially I was like, you know what? I want to stop doing that. I think it's great when you're washing your face because it's absorbing like the oils. But realistically speaking, I don't, I didn't like using them. So of course, um, about two years ago, I invested in hair clips. You guys are probably sitting there like, girl, who doesn't wear hair clips now? I get that. Now it's more trendy. Now it's more popular. But at the time, I wasn't really using them. I have a million of these, but they're like bobby pins. I set it down and it just disappeared. I don't know if it grows legs in the time period of me using it till the next time, but I lose it every time. And these are really just your standard hair pins. I think... In my last video I posted, I wore these little clips that my sister had got me for Christmas. She got those from Target, I believe. So I think any brand will work. I like the longer ones because I'll go ahead and pin my hair. Although my hair is shorter, it is very thick. I mean, I got my hair thin and it's still very thick. I think I get it from my mom because she has thicker hair. It's a lot more fuller. And I think that's where I get my fuller hair. But as far as texture, I'm like my dad. I just have straight hair. Sometimes wavy. Hair clips are so necessary, but I don't feel like you need to spend a whole lot on this. Just, I mean, just don't lose them. You know what I mean? Unless you have a little sister like myself, then that could be completely different. I wish you didn't watch this. <laughs> Moving on to makeup. I put them in this little jar. I guess I got this. Daiso! So how many of us remember, I'm not gonna butcher this, the Givenchy, Givenchy? It was like a really popular, it was a liquid shimmer shadow. Now, obviously you guys know that I work for a very popular brand. This was something that I just knew I needed to have. When it comes to liquid shimmers, I know depending on the brand, I mean, they do the same thing. Longevity, it could be different. But for myself, working at MAC, we had something called the Dazzle Shadows. These are the MAC Liquid Dazzle Shadows. Now, the only reason why I say these over the Givenchy, unless you got money like that, is because I feel it's a lot more affordable in the sense that it's only 25, but I think more companies or I think more brands are coming out with their own version. So there might even be a cheaper alternative than the MAC one. Another reason why I like the MAC one is because they have a little bit of different, different kinds of formulas in the sense that you can either get more of a shimmer look or more of a sheer iridescent look. So one of my go-tos that I used to wear all the time in store was the shade Flash and Dash. And this is this beautiful, beautiful kind of yellow light gold shimmer and when you actually apply it it's very thin so it looks more iridescent of a softer finish but it's reflective versus everyday is sunshine where it's a little bit thicker and it looks more like a shimmer so it's subtle but you can still see that it has that iridescent finish now as far as uses I feel like this can last you a very very long time depending on how much you open it and how much you know it hits oxygen but you can even layer it you can even use this as an adhesive I know when I was working in store a lot of the times when I would do clients makeup I would go ahead and use the loose glitter but I would use this as my quote-unquote adhesive. I know at one point I used to use a duo glue when I would do my glitter liner. Again this was like 2017, 2018. It was different times. We didn't have all of these free innovations with makeup. We didn't have selection like this. We made do with what we could. So now having used that I think for the price too it's pretty fair. It's $25. I saw the Gmail she went for what is it? I'm not spending that money though. Liquid. Okay so it's $36. Okay, correct me if I'm wrong to save an extra $11, but I believe they have other brands. I think it's Juvius has some for like 18 and I really like it as far as price. Now, the reason why I even brought it up is because the general topic of liquid eyeshadows is just... It is so underrated because a lot of the times nowadays, we don't have a whole lot of time to go in with powders. With powders, you got to keep sitting there and blending it. With a liquid eyeshadow, you just kind of blend it really fast because really that's all we have. It dries up, it stays, and guess what? Most of the time, you don't even need a primer. Maybe you're somebody that doesn't like to do that. That's okay. But there's multiple uses and multiple purposes. I mean, somebody that's looking for more of a simpler makeup routine, something quick, something easy, something that requires less steps. Like I said, with normal eyeshadow, you generally want to go in with concealer and a powder or even a eyeshadow primer just to help with longevity purposes. I think with the liquids, it already sticks pretty well. But again, you find what works best for you. 
Now, I realize I don't see this often when I actually watch must-haves. They are super small. They don't seem like a very big deal, but make the biggest difference in your everyday makeup, hair, or skincare routine. A spatula. I call it a spatula. That's not what it's for, but it allows you to mix. So it has two sides. This side is flat, and then this side is a little bit more curved, so you can actually dig in and grab the product. If you guys know, I always refer to something called a plexiglass. I love using that. I mean, most people use the back of their hands. This weather has my skin extremely dry. Anybody else that lives in LA or California, the wind and the weather have been absolutely insane these last few weeks. Let me tell you, I'm not made for this cold weather. It's not even that cold, but for me it is. I really enjoy having these, especially when I just want to grab products. Or maybe you're a makeup artist and you already have this in your kit or you're starting out. We all know how essential this is. But I mean, this one I believe I got on Amazon. It's really affordable. I like to mix my products. It doesn't absorb any of the product. Like when I put it on the back of my hand, of course it's my skin. So it's going to start oxidating and absorbing the product. At least with the metal, it's the formula. It's not absorbing. It just sits there so I can take my time with as much as I'm applying. The plexiglass is also great because it's metal as well. So again, you're able to add more and you don't have to worry about it drying onto the plate immediately or getting absorbed like if you would with the back of your hand. Next, maybe some of you guys already know this, an eyelash applicator. I know this may seem like it's not very necessary. Everyone has the standard like eyelash applicator, this little guy that you can usually get on either Amazon or they sell it at Sephora. So this is the actual lash applicator that I prefer. This one is from MAC. It's more of the same shape as when you would apply your lash versus this. They still have the arc, but I think with this one, I'm actually able to pick it and it's thick enough to push my real and my fake lash versus this one. It's a little bit more flimsier. So it's all about investing in quality over quantity. But again, I feel like I'm true to heart because I was a MAC girl. Once a MAC girl, always a MAC girl. But in general, eyelash applicators are going to be your absolute best friend, especially for my girls. Like even now, I cut my lash too short so you might see my my left lash looks a little straight versus my other eye which has a little bit more of a slant that looks too much keeping that in mind it is so essential especially when you're trying to apply it perfectly now before I used to have very excessively long nails so I would just use that as my eyelash applicator and people would always be like I don't know how you don't poke your eye out and then for other times I would just be able to do with my hands so I never really used these until I started having trouble with the band being thicker and then not staying in place then I finally used this I think I only ever used this when I was in store doing a client's makeup. I didn't start using it on myself until I left the brand and the company and I was gonna try this. And I started noticing it made the biggest difference when I was trying to hide that inner part of my eye. Next, this is going to be the Danessa Myrix. I really hope I said her name right. I mean, I always butcher everyone's name and then I feel bad after and I'll like see myself editing it and I'm just thinking, oh my gosh, that's gonna come from me. So this is the Danessa Myrix Color Fix Eyeshadow. So it's initially meant for your eyes, lips, and cheeks. It's great because they have various colors. They have some shimmers. They have some mattes. As I mentioned before, MAC doesn't sell matte colors, but Danessa does. I'm wearing the darker shadow on my eye today. I don't know if you can tell, but guess what? I did less work and I had more pigment and I just blended really fast. Once again, this is going to be extremely and greatly beneficial for anybody who doesn't have a lot of time in their everyday routine and just wants something quick and a pop of color. Especially for somebody that doesn't really like primers, this is so essential. If you're somebody like me, you can keep it really simple. Take a normal shadow, like a liquid shadow. This could be your base, your transition, liquid, and then a liquid shimmer and then you're done out the door. You can apply it with a brush. It really all depends. I mean, you are the artist. Keep that in mind. Like I used to say in store, your face is a canvas and you're in your Picasso. Create your own art. Fragrance. Now, before I get into this one, I know somebody out there is going to come for my throat because there's been this recent thing on social media of it causing or attracting spiders. I don't think it's a specific fragrance, but if it's just the brand that I'm really screwed because I actually have it all over me today. <laughs> If you guys know, this was extremely, extremely trendy at one point. This is the Frenchie Cashmere Vanilla Hair, Body, and Linen Mist. This is by Ashley Tisdale. And let me just state really fast, getting this perfume was such a freaking hassle. I mean, I waited six months. At one point, I almost settled with the little $16 sample size. This one smells amazing, and it's actually great, and it pairs well with the oil, which I, I have both of. I do love the fragrance. As far as longevity, it lasts. Be more likely worth your money. I mean, this one has a slightly distinct different scent. Let me smell again. I mean, it, it, it smells almost like woody. I don't really know how to describe fragrance at this point. I actually bought this because it was trending and I couldn't get my hands on the other fragrance. It's great. It's affordable for the most part. You can place it on your bed, your hair, your body, and it's very subtle. I know a lot of fragrances give me really bad headaches. Vanilla, cashmere, sweet vanilla, honey, things like that are very strong and can give me a headache. So a couple pumps of these and it's great. Longevity, it lasts. I feel like it's affordable. This is my personal favorite fragrance 
fragrance from Sol de Janeiro. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but we're just gonna roll with it. This is number 68. This is the Brazilian Jasmine and Pink Dragon Fruit. Personally, I really love this one. As you can see, it's basically gone. I have an extra one that Miss Julia bought me for my birthday last year. I got the matching pair with the lotion, so I'll spray that. And I mean, it lasts pretty long. For me, I mean, I've heard people say it doesn't last long on them. I don't know if that has anything to do with just like me mixing it in with other perfumes. But for me, when I use this, I can still smell it. I smell it on my clothes. I smell it in my hair. I'm not sure. I haven't had any issues with it, but I really do love this one, especially putting it in my hair. Sometimes I'll wake up and I smell it. Right, now the pricing, I know it's debatable. I think it's like, what, 25 $22 or so give or take but for me I love this one this is one that I will absolutely repurchase a thousand times next in comparison to the Frenchie this is the Brazilian crush 62 pistachio and salted caramel okay nobody come for me I say caramel some people say caramel you say what you want okay um, but this is number 62 of the Sol de Janeiro I don't have the big size this was in that little trio pack with the cream and the body shampoo swear by it but I would say this is more of my preference as far as fragrance goes if you haven't tried it I would say get the little trio kit and give it a try again I love this just for your hair for your everyday I feel like it's a hit or miss some people will like it some other people won't but don't listen to anybody else make your own opinion on it last but not least let's do skincare as I said before some things don't work for other people but I will never recommend any product that doesn't work for me only products that work for me in the sense hoping that it works for you first things first this is the advanced snail 96 mucin power essence so this is the essence by the brand Cosar X. As I mentioned in my previous video, my sister actually got me the Cosar X little travel size. So, or like the sample. So it had the eye cream, the cleanse, the cream, and the little mini bottle of essence. I saw the biggest difference in my skin and just my overall makeup application with longevity. I think a lot of the times it's hard to find a really good essence, you know, toner, serum, because a lot of the times it does nothing. It's too milky or I break out. But this one I found works best. Now I know there was some overhype. I know there's... There was a little bit of a debate as far as whether it worked or not. I think with every product, some people will break out, others won't. But this one actually worked really well with my complexion. Again, I have nothing but great things to say. If you're feeling like you don't want to get the big size, I know it's a little bit more expensive. I would say get the little small one. I believe it's like $8. Give this a try. I mean, if you haven't already or you're still on the hunt, don't knock until you try it. I swear by this one. I love it. It's made the biggest difference. As you guys know, I struggle with my cystic acne. And a lot of the acne treatment that I'm using dries my skin. And it makes me very dehydrated. So I I always think that extra plumpiness. I am so intense with, with my skincare. I make sure that it's plumpy so that way when you take your finger and you press it bounces back. Before anybody comes for me I realize I'm showing you guys like a lot of MAC products but this was one that I can swear by and genuinely I would buy with my own money. This is the MAC Gentle Off Gently excuse me <laughs> this is the mac gently off eye and lip makeup remover this is probably the hardest thing that you can ever get your hands on at least in the u.s because we're always sold out that or we're just always sold out so maybe you're like me and you struggle with removing and breaking down most of your makeup i have used the garnier what is the garnier 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 something it was like the makeup remover it was very popular in like 2014 that never worked for me and it actually made me break out even more now ironically i do use it to clean my brushes because it breaks down the product like the formulation of it but it doesn't work very well on my skin so when i started working at mac and actually prior i noticed that they had this purple bottle before now it's red but i promise you the stuff is just as great like i mean it removes it with just put a little bit of application of that oil you can either rub it in or just let it soak it breaks down and then you can just wipe it off one and done especially when it comes to waterproof and mascara waterproof products and mascara usually don't ever come off of my eyes if anybody struggles like me it will take maybe four days <laughs> even if i'm not wearing mascara every day it sucks because i get the raccoon eyes after washing my face this my friend will remove it eyelash glue remove it any kind of makeup that you have remove it that really really bright red blue lipstick that's a matte and it stained your lip remove it. Whenever I was in store and I would have to show a client a red lipstick or really dark shadow of whatever sort and it would just stain that, you know, the complexion. Pull this little guy, little paper towel, couple seconds, done. Like I said, this is my saving grace. And you ask any MAC artist now or any old MAC artist, they will tell you this is it. If you guys can, I would say go to a MAC store near you or a MAC counter and try this out yourself if you don't believe me. Grab one of the retro matte liquid lipstick, rub it on your hand, let it dry, see that it actually doesn't move because it won't i used to use that in hula and then try removing it use this bottle and it's going to move effortlessly you won't even realize that you ever swatched it and i know most of the time when we do lipstick and anything like that it stays and it stains our lips and it sucks but this this is going to come in handy if you can invest in any makeup remover i recommend it be this one and 
lastly with these ones i actually like i mentioned before i really go to i mean i go to tokyo central i go to dice i go to h mart most days so that's where i get my organizers that's where i get some of my skincare but tokyo central specifically because they have a lot of the food that i'll get i recently found out or i actually was digging through like their skincare and makeup section and there's just something about asian skincare that just hits different in my opinion i think that there's just difference with the formulation and longevity and effects on it these are actually the retinol face mask the quantity is 30 sheets now obviously for my my young viewers people say you're not supposed to use retinol to your baby in your 20s and then you have to build a tolerance for it i mean don't feel excluded because guess what honey buns they have other ones they have hyaluronic acid and then they have there was like more of like a hydrating face mask so even if you can't use the retinol ones this is just one that i recommend especially for my in the 20s and older retinol face mask once a week smells great don't leave it on more than 15 20 minutes and you're good to go um i have used this for a little while now this is my second bag again they have other options for maybe some of you that might be under 20 like the hydrating one is really great i really like that for anybody that has really dry skin they have so many options if you have a tokyo central near you and you just haven't really looked i honestly have nothing but great things to say about this because it smells amazing they're already nice and moisture the bag i don't know what it is but it just looks so expensive i mean it's like bougie now the prices vary i believe this one was 12.99 and this is speaking in us dollars of course but it's great again 30 sheets it lasts you forever they're nice and skinny they're compact it smells amazing by the way like it smells incredible every time i've used it i just know it's like pamper time you can go in with one of those ice rollers or a jade roller whatever that you have and just go over to really moisturize it it makes a difference when i'm consistent i, I see a huge difference in my skin highly recommend and also go searching and some of the other products that they have keeping that in mind okay you guys so those are going to be my must-have for 2024. I hope that all of you guys can take from it and hopefully try some of these products. I mean, if you do end up trying any of these products, please let me know down below. If you have any recommendation for products, I would love to know as well. I'm always looking for new stuff to try. I'm just hesitant because I'll do my research before buying anything. Even if it's impulsive. Before you guys, I highly suggest that you hit that subscribe button. And of course, follow me on all of my socials at Madeline Rose Young. Thank you again so much for all of the love and support that I get. I say this every time and I know it probably gets annoying, but it really does mean the world to me. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you guys next time. Bye.